Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today we're going to do a few things, just probably random things, I've just been playing around um, and I thought maybe I should do an episode so I'm not doing like a whole catch up episode instead. We'll do some active things. So first off, let's start with this contraption. This here, uh, you can put a material in here, I don't really think I have anything left to put in here. No, I've put everything in here that I uh, basically had. So. Basically, you put your material in here that you want to squeeze, like, say, coal or redstone, which I just recently did. And you throw it in the hopper. And basically, this guy will smush all the way down almost instantly. And so, basically, every time he bounces down, that's like you jumping up and down and having it go completely down. Way easier, way faster. This is how it works. This is the mechanic. It's pretty easy to replicate. There's nothing special about it. It's even pulling my roof out that I did accidentally, but didn't actually affect it. So, uh, and you can put a lever to kind of turn it off so it's not moving as much. This guy kind of hops a bit, but, uh, yeah, it does definitely works. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a cool little mechanism, uh, that I got off the internet. So, um, yeah, going on from there, I don't think we have anything new in here, really. We had the, I think we had this last time, but I had built this, uh, in here just so I can do other casting and stuff. Uh, outside should be relatively the same. Uh, I did learn that you can do grout, so I did learn something here. Uh, if we take gravel, and so if you take gravel, sand, and then let's say clay, and then you make your grout, which this is this is just regular old recipe, nothing special here. So grout, and then grout again. There you go. And then we'll go and get rid of the sand. You can place this grout down around uh, the daisies. These are the uh, pure daisies from Britannia. And they will convert them into seared brick. Or sorry, se seared stone. Uh, that one was too far. I don't have a shovel on me. I'm too lazy to break it by hand. Uh, so yeah, when you make the seared stone, you can turn it into seared brick, but you can use it as a seared brick anyways. Like you, It's just the look of it, right? You can take chisel and change the look of it to whatever you want if you like. But uh, basically, this will give you um, the seared stone, and then you can use it to build stuff with. And that's what I already built. Built a new room, and I'm going to re re be redoing sorry my steam setup in here i took my tank out so that's why that that's there to hold it i was testing it out uh, but basically this is just a big square box it goes uh, there's one more in, level on the floor right it's very deadly in there mobs do spawn unfortunately i don't know how to prevent that to be honest don't know if there even is a way i know sometimes if you log in and out mobs will disappear since there's steam in there now will they come back in will they not come back in i don't know you can use sear glass though so you could probably use sear glass in a few spots and light it up use like glowstone etc at least on the floor base of things so there are ways to sort of deal with it if you want but uh, we'll we'll see Oil can be enhanced extensively with canola and starlight. Ooh. Okay, so the mobs are sort of still in there. They didn't really go away. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. As long as they don't kill or hurt each other, hopefully it won't do any damage. But creepers can actually do a lot of damage. Like, I've seen them actually blow a hole. I tested this out and they did blow a hole, so it's not a good thing. So what you might want to do is do seared glass and um, yeah, if you do that, then you could probably pr uh, put that in there and you won't have to worry about mobs. I don't even think mobs can spawn on seared glass itself. So if you build your entire floor out of that, that might be kind of cool anyways. And then underneath you can like stare at it sort of idea. But uh, yeah, I didn't realize this till after about my mistake and... It's a bit of a mistake because, you know, all the mobs are going to make a hell of a mess, as you know. So um, I don't know why I grabbed all the glass. I think that's more of an off-camera thing to do because that's going to be annoying to deal with right now. Okay, so uh, actually I have an idea for a bit of annoyance there. Um, I have one extra bucket in there, I think. And then, so let's grab, sorry, you have to do it from here. You can grab it. No, you can't grab it. Can you not grab that way? I guess you can't. 
Okay. Well, I'll have to play with that after. By the way, so... Oh, sorry. I should probably tell you what this is made with. So, the, the important thing here is the Tinker's... Uh, Tinker's tank controller is basically everything. Then you can use your drain, I believe, to go in and out. I don't know if there's another name for one that goes outwards, but uh, as far as I know, that's how it works. So um, you just have to suck, have the pipe suck out the liquids, vice versa. Okay, so I was looking into... Um, some pipes actually to play around with this and you know because we need some pipes over time to help us drain and whatnot uh the materials because we do have these fancy pipes but they can only do so much plus they're a little higher uh basically it looks like to make fused quartz you're gonna have to go with uh a blast furnace and it looks like 120 eu so uh actually i think a blast furnace can do more energy because they have more amperage so I think in a sense that they, they can run, this is one amperage though, I'm not quite sure how that works again to be honest, but you're going to need LV slash MV anyways probably at that point. You even need to make liquid oxygen so uh, I'm not even sure that how that's made to be honest. It's air made into oxygen and nitrogen so either way there's, there's a process that's going to take time. And we're not there yet. So there are other options. Uh, not that I'm a fan of using mechanism, but there is mechanism option. So I actually was starting on there. For the, the main part, you need a pipe seal, which I took clay, an iron rod. Iron rod is just a file on a piece of iron. So I just did that. And then I thought, oh, you know, I should do a let's play on this kind of. So there's a steel gear. The steel gear is actually made through the alloy smelter. Pretty simple setup. In fact, we probably should put our uh, steam container back because without it, we're going to have. That's what I was for worried about. There's a war going on there. They might blow up something and leak out. And yeah, uh, you might have some problems if you're not careful. Anyways, I don't know if that bottom one connected to that properly, but if it did, this should be producing steam in here. I guess if you can click this. Okay, it's it's producing steam again. Good. We'll remove this. I had to actually use the wrench. Remember I told you you have to have the outputs on this, especially when they're working? Well, I had to flip this up because it stopped producing my steel plates that I was producing at one point. And so there you go. Okay, so we're going to do some kind of molds here. The molds themselves uh, are kind of interesting. Here you go. So I want to do a steel plate. You need to do this kind of mold. So you need a hammer like this, but I don't think that's the same kind of hammer, is it? Oh, maybe it is. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, sorry. It's an empty shaped plate. So it's an actual special plate you make. Then you can go ahead and put this here. And there you go, you got the mold gear. And then you can make yourself the gear, which the gear itself, uh, oh, you can do it in a crafting table. Well, stupid me. Is that eight of them? You can use eight, which is the same, actually, yeah, same recipe as that. Wait, do you get, yeah, you only get two, I guess, per thing, right? Now I'm just making sure, right? So you get one, one, yeah, one, one. Okay, yeah, and the steel plates would actually cost you a bit more. So, uh, technically, you will save even... I thought it would be pretty damn close, just save you some effort. But no, it would be the same. So, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there you go. So, that's producing our alloy smelter there. Or not alloy smelter, our gear. So yeah, I I really screwed up on this. I think the best thing I could do is start doing something like this. So start, you know, we're not going to, you know, I got to fix it up over time. So I think what we have to do here is just put some holes in here and then try to fix up mob spawns over time. And even then we might have some serious issues. I wanted to put a hole. Oh crap. So what I did not want. Hey, it works good as a mob uh, grinder, I guess. 
I don't want them to shoot the creeper and the creeper blow a hole into the wall. And we have a hole in the wall. Okay, we're safe. There's actually not a bad hole. Don't care if they fall through the floor, but I don't want them, you know. There you go. Okay. We'll light this up inside the tank. This tank will not form. I'm just going to let you know, know right now. This f tank cannot form at all with uh, the torches around here. Like I said, I'm going to try with a glass floor or glass, you know, here and there with torches shining in. But uh, I will fix that. But it'll probably be a more of an off-camera thing. But what I am thinking of is making my steam boilers in this room. Then setting up, uh, making a new room. There's nothing there right now. It goes right to the outside. Um then that'll be my steam uh, machine room, and then this will probably eventually be my LV machine room, but I haven't decided yet, so there's a lot of decisions needing to be made there. And a lot of that will be kind of off-camera, dinkering and hinkering and playing. Okay, so let's get ourselves some bandages here. Actually, we should might as well use the selves a bit here. Use them up. Okay, so we got our gear. So that's good. The next part we need is the glass tubes. The glass tubes are going to be a bit difficult. Not the most difficult thing ever, but uh, it's still kind of a bit difficult compared to our usual stuff. Let's get rid of random crap out of my inventory. Even this stuff, let's just not deal with it right now. Didn't, I guess it didn't kind of automatically go in my inventory like it should have. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so now that we're here, we can go here and look for paper. So let's get some paper. And then let's get, uh, glass tube. So you need liquid glass, but you can use glass dust, which we have some. The glass dust is actually a really uh, easy one to make. All it is is macerating, uh, pulverizing, sorry, glass. So you can either do it by hand like with that, or you can use the pulverizer and just put glass in there. There you go, one glass. And I've already done this, so we're saving some time there. And then, uh, so that's the glass dust. And then we're going to have to make, sorry, we're going to have to make uh, the mold here. So the mold ball. Mold Ball. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, you know, uh, Stargate Lord Ball. Lord, uh, this is Mold Ball. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Anyways, uh, here you go. Let's take Mold Ball. <laughs> and we're going to go over here. And uh, we'll swap these guys out. And they're probably going to be useful for later on anyway. So... Uh, down the road, it looks like you can use them in the solidifier anyway. So you're not you're not wasting these forever, kind of thing. So here we go. Oh, it does one each anyway. So okay. So how many of these? I'm just need one for this project. So yeah, there you go. And then uh, so this is actually getting our first step into LV anyways. Like you start making some of this stuff, like those little things. Uh, Whatever that's called in LV. So we're, we're kind of like working our way there uh, for sure. Okay, so now what we need is copper wire. Now you can either do copper wire through... Well, it looks like you actually have no choices really. You can do two copper wire, which is just one copper wire. Or taking uh, wire cutters, which we have wire cutters. Don't ask me where they are. No, we, do we actually have Greg Tech wire cutters? Now looking at this, I don't think we do have Greg Tech wire cutters. And there is my screwdriver. I was wondering where the hell you were. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we do have um, this, actually. I thought I did, but I don't think we did. Anyways, uh, so let's look at the wire cutter here. So uh, we could go Greg, iron, wire cutter. No. Wire. Oh, here it is. Oh, they only show the one type of wire cutter, but there you go. File, thingy, my bumper. Okay, I can kind of, you know what? Print screen, there you go. Oh, here's the, you know, that's stainless steel. I mean, there's definitely going to be an iron version, but it might just be easier to take a picture and just make it. So, 
Uh, we need screws, which I have the screw, and I need the rods, which you have two of the rods already, or multiple rods, sorry. And then I need plates, which I don't have any in my inventory. Here they are. Okay, let's do that again, shall we? You could probably... There you go. It's like, just look. As long as you have the materials, just keep scrolling until you find the plus one. Okay, and then we needed copper. So let's go and get copper here. We just needed three, technically, here. Yeah, I guess we just need three, really. So, um, you know what? Let's do six here. Screw it. Let's put enough in the mold. I might as well make eight. I'm just thinking I'm not going to use this as my pipe everywhere, but maybe it's not so bad. I mean, it isn't really that hefty of a cost to make. And you probably have some control over it, too, right? So... I bet you're going to need a lot of this over time, by the way. So it's up to you what you want to make out of this. I, I have a feeling this stuff will be pretty uh, useful over time because you're going to need it for things like this anyways. So making a stack of it probably is not a bad idea, to be honest. Okay, so let's go back over here. And uh, so let's see what we have. We got enough to make the two. And then we have enough to make the one because we need to make another thing. Oh, look at that. Quest complete. Uh, so we can put the mold back in later and make another one if we want. Uh, but yeah, so this will let you transfer fluids. And uh, I don't really have the best example now just because actually we can do it with these guys. This will be a good example. So let's get one of you. And then let's get one. should be in one of my bags. There they are. I don't know if it can tell you what's in it. Oh, here it is. So let's get you out of there. I use this so I can bring like lava back home and stuff. So, Oh, and I made the bags and upgraded them, by the way. I should probably talk about that later. You're probably already wondering, like, oh, you got bags. Didn't even notice that. I mean, we did the bags before, but uh, they kind of suck, so never bothered. So uh, we can do extract and turn this on, and there you go. So see how, the, how fast it's going? Pretty decent. But remember, this is only 16 buckets full, right? So there you go. So make sure it empties so you don't waste any fluid in between. So let's try the pressurized ones here. I don't know how this works at all. In fact, I'm not even doing a good job here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't upgrade it yet. Sorry. That's probably why. Um, do, 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 do. And the pipe seal. You remember the pipe seal? There you go. There we go. That looks better. So, I don't actually know how you control the mechanism pipes here. I don't know. Yeah, I actually don't know <laughs> how any of that works. So, we let's see. We, we got a quest anyways. We know we had a quest thing. Don't know if we actually get a reward. Okay. Lane pipe. There's servos. Okay, so there's a servo. And item ducts. The basic magnet will be allowed you to pump enable disable redstone activation good for early game piping. So Oh, you can upgrade them. And they will be upgraded with the next alloy and stuff like that. Cool. These pipes do the job. They have some quirks, so they may be challenge uh, challenge automation. Good starter pipes, not the best. Oh, there's a configurator. Let's see how that works. There you go. Pull. Okay, so see the liquid? I think it's actually going quite a bit faster. So you need the configurator, which you can build yourself, I assume. The configurator uh, actually requires red alloy. Okay, it might be a little too hard for us, but at least they give us the ability to do it. So you shift right click to change pull, push, etc. Then you can right click to, you know, redstone on and off as well. So you can change some of the automation. That's kind of cool. Uh, so this has nothing in there. I don't know why it's still staying its color. There you go. And now everything is in here. Okay. There we go. So that will be useful later on. And basically, because we can't make these yet, right? That's one of the reasons. The fused quartz ones will require blast furnace. And they're actually technically a little slower. Um, these guys, I think it said it does 1,000 a tick. These do 100 a tick. Max is 400 a tick. 
So technically, these are supposed to. The, oh, the pump rate is 100 a tick. Sorry. The extraction rate on these are 100, but the max is 400, where the max of these are 1,000. So you could get multiple of these in a row, right? Let's just say I need a lot of steam. I could put, for example, you know, let's just say 10 of these across here, right? And then you can have a bunch of these basically running at once and filling it out and then doing its thing. So uh, it'll it'll make steam production interesting. And you're probably wondering, why, Kane? Why are you going so crazy about steam storage and production? Like, shouldn't you make a bunch of boilers? And even then, aren't you going to go to LV soon? Yeah, I'm going to go LV, but I'm having fun with steam. And I like the idea of that you could build like a big multi-structure block like this that I actually want to attempt to use something like this to power LV. LV has steam turbines that run. And as far as I know, they're pretty decent too. They only run when they need to and all that kind of stuff as well, right? So my actual hope is that I power my LV, maybe even MV stage with steam turbines because I'm having a lot of fun with them. And if we type in turbines here, you can see that there's a steam turbine uh, up to 512, and even then, 512 is a lot. You have multiples, right? Um, so I thought that would be kind of fun. And then there's different types of turbines as well, like gas turbine, etc. So it's just, I just really wanted to go into the steam age for fun and actually use it more than just the, the, the little bit we do at the start. And that's, that's why I made these pipes. So there we go. We can say they're done. We're going to go over here and we're going to do the worst thing one can do and just dump their inventory there while it was sorting. So I'm going to have to do some sorting after. We're going to look at making a new bow here. So you can get steel ingot bow here. Uh, there you go. One, two. And uh, let's get some string over here. So, no, I need more string than that, buddy. There you go. I think three string and I believe it was a single stick. There we go. And this will make us a new bow that should be a bit stronger from my understanding as well as... Uh, well, just stronger, as far as I know. I don't think there is a, another part to that, to be honest. I wanted to add more to it, but I don't think there is actually more to that. Uh, so there you go. We got a, a new bow, which I like. Um, it says we have one quest done, but the funny thing is I got a bunch of stuff here, but it does it disappear or does it... Huh. Oh, that's what this button is. So I've been claiming rewards accidentally off camera. Uh, here and there this basically automatically claims rewards for you so i've actually done a couple things by accident without you guys knowing and even i didn't know because i thought this was like a special because originally when this was being made they had a button here where you can get like oh you click this and you get like a special reward if you sit there for five minutes things like that so i thought it was something re related to that like a daily login reward or something stupid like that but apparently Apparently, I've been cutting myself in some bad ways and screwing myself over there. So, eh, whatever. Uh, it happens, usually to me, but it happens. Scanner range increase. Oh, Ender Pro. We do have a single Ender Pro, but I don't want to waste it. Yeah. Okay, so going on. Uh, Integrated logic uh, circuit. Something we're going to make in the future. Just not right this second. Let's put this at the front here. So this is a brewing stand. Um, brewing stands are for uh, making potions. You don't use this yet because the brass is fine. Steel plate is fine. Oh, actually, no, you can do that early game. But you know why it's not worth it? Because you need nether wart to kind of go further with it. And that was one thing I noticed. And so you can go ahead and do this, but you're not going to get the, the most out of it right away. Um, so we, we, we might as well make it just so we can say... We made it, but uh, the warning here is you don't get as much out of it. So let's get some brass, and we're only going to do this actually if we have any brass. Oh my goodness. We actually have the two brass required. There you go, and you're going to need some steel plates, which we did make. We'll just keep them in our inventory. So there's your steel plates. Obsidian, you can get out of here, which is always kind of nice. And, oh yeah, Cortisian, I guess I have some here. Oh, I got some from a quest. I also have some here. I got, I got it from my quartz itself. 
uh, you know, I went to the quartz, uh, whenever, whatever the one that was there and I produced it, I guess it was called, uh, cortisine or whatever. And I found that in the ground. And if you, cr- uh, crunch it, I think it was actually, let's check how I made that. Oh, here it is. Um, oh, if you smelt it, it creates it. So I actually used our smelter over here and I built that. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and build our brewing stand. Our brewing stand isn't going to do us much, like I said, because uh, usually brewing stands require nether wart to start. Maybe we can get some in the world here and there, but nether wart is usually not the easiest thing to get right away. Uh, yeah, you need blaze rod to do the nether wart there or some other crazy stuff. Yeah, so we're not. Basically, we can't get nether wart unless if we find it within the world itself. And I'm pretty sure we have never found it. No, no tea coming up, so we haven't found it. Okay, getting rid of that. Uh, something I'm working on is a vision helmet. I want to get this done eventually, but uh, I ended up finding you needed the Ignis, Eris, this, whatever, and Ordo. Um, I think I've gotten most of this now. Uh, I got Ordo. Yeah, so I got the Ordo here. So this is Ordo, no problem. This one I don't have the right amount. And then there was one more. What was the other one? Ordo and Eris, this, this one here. So these ones I can mine. This one I have not been able to mine. I don't even know if I can mine this. So, um, I mean, it says pu- uh, purified Ignis. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, apparently you can get it eventually. But I personally haven't found it. I don't know if you find it in the nether or if I haven't found it yet. Because there's some ores I haven't just not found, right? So if we check the ones we haven't gotten yet. Um... Okay, Ignis is found in this one here. And what's this one say? Redstone veins with Ignis infused with higher ruby concentrations spawn in hot and dry biomes. So I should be looking for this plant right here in the desert. So I should probably add this here. And say, hey, Kane, when I see that in the desert, you go for it. Uh, because it'll be kind of important. Uh, what about an enchanting table? I know enchanting table is special. So enchanting table requires magical wood. Piece of gold and uh, a bookshelf. Actually, I think I might have... Did we use the bookshelf? I know at one point I had a bookshelf here. Oh, this is... I just wanted a regular bookshelf, to be honest. There you go. No, so I'd have to make the bookshelf here. Um, so you need a bookshelf. You need an enchanted book. You need a fancy thing here, which requires brass, which we just used it up. So I'm going to have to make more of that. So, yeah, we'll play around with that later on. But, um, yeah, either way, I got started. Oh, uh, trash can fluid. Uh, That's something else I wanted to tell you about. So I have it here. Basically, these all filled up. And so what I do now is that... Um, the the fluid basically goes into these which these are temporary storage and then they go in the trash can and it's a fluid one and to make this it was pretty simple it's just stone cobblestone and a bucket and that's it and uh yeah i just wanted to let you know on that one and i think that's it so from now to the next episode i'm going to probably make this bigger I'm going to probably raise it through, I don't know if the ground or in the sky. I haven't even decided how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm going to make it so mobs don't spawn somehow as well. And then I'm going to uh, probably clean up, organize a bit more. Um, I'm getting iron quite a bit now. And iron is pretty easy to get. And I can mine iron or even, uh, say, bronze. Actually, I might be doing bronze because Greg Tech has a chest here. Greg Tech. uh, Sorry, bronze chest there you go there's a bronze chest from greg tech here so bronze one uh which i think is the same as an iron one but i'm not actually quite sure how many slots does an iron one have so maybe the iron one would be better since it's probably easier just to mine one thing than multiple one two three four five six oh yeah nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six fifty four uh, no, 9, 18, 27, 36, uh, 45, 54, right? So these are the same slot. So either you make it out of bronze, which in a sense, bronze is not, it's not a hard material or anything, but I mean, three copper, one tin gives you four bronze. So it's not like you're really duping it or anything like that, or just make a pure iron chest, uh, 
which is just iron basically but you have to use the upgrade method which is kind of dumb so yeah iron on a regular chest piece of plank can give you that so eh, in my book that seems almost easier to do just because um you can make a silver chest as well i don't know if they let you do the silver oh no you have to do the multiple upgrade stages there so that might be annoying yeah so copper to silver yeah i don't think i would do that one then I think what I would do is rather stay with Greg Tech, but they have a steel chest as well. Steel chest holds 72 slots. So, I mean, steel even now is getting easy to make, right? So I might even consider just making steel chests. Simple recipe, you know, making lots of steel now. I'm going to keep, you know, making it. So I just need more coal. Um, you can use charcoal, I think, even with that. So I should do something with my farm, create some sort of automation maybe. Um, and then just go from there. But either way, uh, I'll come up with some ideas. Let's try making this chest anyways, just to see how it is. So here it is. And I think this just stole my... Did you steal it? There it is. You did steal it, stupid thing. Um, oh, and it has a sorting button. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, we have the middle mouse, but... Yeah, and I assume you could just break it. Ooh. I guess that's a good thing. I guess the hardness increases quite a bit, but holy crap, you place a bunch of them in the wrong spot, you're going to spend a long time breaking them. Yeah, and they, of course, don't hold items, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.